Hello student, now today we will see what are living beings. So what are living beings is not a new question. Uh, probably maybe since you started studying uh, your first standard, you have faced this question what are living beings and then you find different answers for that. So. Um, you can talk about what are living beings, you can talk about the character, but today what I am going to do, I am going to define this for you so that you can make out what are living beings. So before that you know what are living beings, you must find out what is the difference between living, non-living and dead. Okay, so this is your homework that you have to do. And uh, let's discuss the characteristic of living beings. So very important character of the living beings what uh, we studied is uh, growth. Growth means increase in size, increase in girth. So that is what increase in the number of cell is called growth. And whenever there is growth, how that growth occurs? The growth occurs by cell division. Now whenever we are thinking about any living beings you have to think all the living beings not only as human but you can think of arthropod you can think of bacteria you can think of uh, you can say fungi you can think of uh, amphibians okay so when you think from very lower to higher organism you will find that there are different types of cells which are present for example certain cells just divide by binary fission certain cells they divide by fragmentation certain cells they divide by uh, longitudinal fission then we have uh, processes called mitosis which is the method of cell division we have the process of meiosis which is the method of cell division so different methods are there for cell to divide and it depends on uh, what is the type of organism basically it depends on what kind of uh, a genetic material uh, organism have then second is uh, reproduction reproduction is very essential process because each species has to continue that species on the earth so before the species die it will reproduce so this process is called reproduction and there are methods sexual reproduction and asexual reproduction so different methods are there by which the reproduction occurs plant in plant and animal different methods are there so will be but basically they are divided in two categories sexual and asexual reproduction then you have metabolism uh, now metabolism is some total of all the chemical reaction anything which is living that will have metabolism that will um, because that has to survive at its own so it require energy so for that to produce the energy it has to uh, there are so many chemical reaction which will be operated in the body now this is divided in two different uh, you can say ways one is anabolism and another one is catabolism all the reactions which are in which the breakdown occur maybe the breakdown of you can say any molecule maybe the glycogen is breaking down to glucose and glucose is breaking down uh, to further you can say carbon dioxide water and energy so this is what is the breakdown processes all the breakdown processes are part of catabolism now all the synthesizing maybe the building up of your body the protein uh, is synthesizing in your body then photosynthesis which is occurring in the plant it synthesizes uh, food so all those synthesis processes are anabolism so in our uh, body uh, when we say metabolism means some anabolism is going on some catabolism simultaneously is going on so this is what is actually when these processes are occurring lot of chemical reactions are occurring and we'll be learning about lot of chemical reaction in our syllabus so this is called metabolism the next is uh, they have cellular organization like we have simple organism we have complex organism so there is some system which is there in the complex organism like cells they group together to form tissue tissue to organ organ to organ system okay so every organism has its cellular organism we'll be studying about this in our syllabus then living organism have consciousness consciousness means 
that they are able to sense the surrounding and respond to stimulus. Uh, suppose some person is dead, won't be able to sense the surrounding what is happening. Some person is in coma, we won't be able to uh, sense the surrounding. Okay, so if I combine 1, 2 and 3, 4 and 5, then living organism are self-replicating, evolving, self-regulating interactive system that can respond to external stimulus. So this is what is the definition of living organism. Now you also need to understand certain things before we um, start the uh, chapter. Uh, you should know what is uh, the multicellular and unicellular organism. Now, unicellular organisms are the organism where their body is made up of all, only one cell. That means their body has only one cell and that cell only performs all the functions. Multicellular organism, they have many cells. Now, these cells are organized because there is cellular organization that exists and these cell organizes into a specific you can say um, organisms and this is and each cell has a specific function this is what we see in the multicellular organisms now in unicellular organism if the cell divide we say cell division means cell is reproducing in multicellular organism cell divide doesn't mean it is not necessary that it is reproduction cell division for maybe for wear and tear of the cell and maybe for the reproduction so if you see the body of the multicellular organism we have divided into two based on the cell division into two types of cells one is the somatic cells and another one is the reproductive cells so reproductive cells are the only cells which will divide and produce the gametes so, uh, uh, somatic cells they produce by mitosis and they are responsible for growth and wear and tear so uh, different you can say formations are there in multicellular and unicellular uh, then you should also know what are prokaryotic and uh, eukaryotic cell okay now prokaryotic cells are the primitive cells means first form of the cell that means when the evolution of life have occurred that time what kind of cell was existing okay now this cell was not having any mitochondria this cell was not having chloroplast this cell was not having so many other cell organelles but it still it was existing and doing its function so that preformed cell is called prokaryotic cell whereas eukaryotic cell is the advanced form of the cell the cell which have all the cell organelles mitochondria has its own function all the cell organelle golgi body has its own function so we'll be studying about these different uh, organelles and about these cells in our syllabus uh, so this is the basic difference between the eukaryotic and prokaryotic cell okay now there is a theory the eukaryotic cell arise from the prokaryotic cell you have to find out this theory is called endosymbiont theory that how the eukaryotic cell evolve from the prokaryotic cell so there was the evolution process which is behind the uh, formation of eukaryotic cell which is the most advanced form of cell today now you should also know what, what we mean by in vitro and in vivo condition in vitro means inside the living body, in vitro means outside the living body. For example, I am per performing the experiment photosynthesis. So, if I have to perform in vivo, what I am going to do, I am going to select a plant. Now, plant here is a source of chlorophyll and then I am going to apply other condition. There will be a source of water, there will be source of carbon dioxide, there will be source of light and then I will do the uh, photosynthesis. So this is called in vivo photosynthesis. Now same photosynthesis if I carry it out in the test tube, I um, extract the uh, chlorophyll, put the chlorophyll there and uh, light and light source and carbon dioxide and uh, you can say uh, source of uh, water and then I am trying to do photosynthesis. Now this, um, this condition is there in the test tube or artificially created. So this is called in vitro condition 
so when you are uh, going through a text or um, your book you'll find sometime this is done in vitro this is done in vivo so you should know what is in vivo and in vitro you also have to find out what virus is living as well as non-living or you can say it lives on the borderline of living and non-living why we say so you have to find out now science is all about why which who how and why so unless when you have these question while studying anything why this happens which is this who who did it how this is uh, done and when was this done that means we are on the right track and uh, we are studying the subject well so there are a lot of questions that should arise while you are studying or going through the text then uh, you should also know what is the difference between the natural and artificial now the term wild is uh, sometimes interchangeably used with the natural we say wild variety okay that means that has not undergone any modification means what its dna is not been affected there is no mutation that has occurred there is no dna changes that have occurred in that so that is what we called as wild variety a wild is also used for undomesticated you can say organism we say like lion is a wild animal okay dog is a domesticated so we don't use the word so uh, in in your uh, you can say uh, syllabus when we are using the term wild it is more of uh, reflecting the natural you can say uh, conditions then um, natural things are those things which are naturally present and they undergo the natural cycle okay now artificial things they are not present in the nature but they are created by men a man and they may not follow the natural cycle for example if if you talk about the plastic now we have synthesized the plastic it is a man made product okay now there are certain bonds in the plastic okay which are not been you can say break down upon by the microorganisms which are naturally present in the soil so we say that plastic is non decomposable things so you have to find out how artificial things interfere with the environment so uh, this is all for today and uh, tomorrow we will see um, the next part of what is what is life or what are living beings thank you